President Donald Trump recently signed another executive order, this time rolling back Obama-era regulations that sought to curtail climate change. Now, this isn't really too surprising considering the fact that he <laughs> maintains that climate change is a hoax manufactured by the Chinese, but regardless if it's surprising or not surprising, this is still problematic. So, BBC explains the president said this would put an end to the war on coal and job-killing regulations. The Energy Independence Executive Order suspends more than half a dozen measures enacted by his predecessor and boosts fossil fuels. Business groups have praised the Trump administration's move, but environmental campaigners have condemned it. Outside the White House, a few hundred protesters gathered to vent their displeasure at the executive order. So this is ostensibly a pro-business move, but in actuality, it's not a pro-business move. It's actually very anti-business because, you know, the funny thing about businesses is in order for them to exist, they actually have to be on a habitable planet. So if we continue to destroy the environment, I know that ExxonMobil loves getting that money uh, from destroying the planet. Well, you still won't exist if there's no planet for you to exist on. You see how this works? And he talks about how this is, you know, a job-killing thing, how it, it, it uh, harms the economy. Well, guess what? You cannot have an economy, you cannot have any single business if you don't have a planet for those businesses to exist on. So climate change poses an existential threat, and we still don't know the full scale of consequences that will come to fruition with climate change yet. You know, Donald Trump is rolling the dice. He's saying, you know what, let's go ahead and continue to pollute. And I don't really care because I'm not going to be around when we really see climate change take effect. Now, Bernie Sanders wasted no time calling out Donald Trump's reprehensible executive order. You have a president who tells the world that in his view, after intensive study, he has concluded, unlike the rest of the scientific community, that climate change is a hoax emanating from China. And what he has done in appointing the people that he has appointed is a danger, a horrific danger, not only to our generation, but to our children and our grandchildren. Hey, Mr. President, listen to the scientists. Climate change is real. It is already causing devastating problems in our country and around the world. And if we don't transform our energy system away from fossil fuel, coal, oil, gas into energy efficiency and sustainable energy, I worry very much about the planet the future generations will inherit. And by the way, despite Trump's rhetoric there, the corporate world understands that the future is sustainable energy. Most of the new investments are going into solar, which is exploding all over our country and all over the world, and into wind. What this guy is doing is really an international embarrassment and endangering the future of our country. And I will, along with many of my colleagues, do everything that we can to move this country in a very, very different direction than Trump is proposing. Yeah. So the Financial Times, Mike Barnacle just pointed out to us, actually has a headline here that says ExxonMobil actually is calling on Trump to stick with the Paris Climate Accord. <laughs> I mean, how crazy could it be that the largest oil company in this country right. Right, understands more than the president of the United States? That is, it, it, to say that it, Trump's position is pathetic would be to understate uh, where he is coming from. It is absolutely pathetic. And I love that when Bernie Sanders talks about Donald Trump, he just doesn't hold back. He says everything that comes to his mind. And that's why people like Bernie Sanders, because he's an organic politician. He's not rehearsed. Uh, he's not scripted. He just says what's on his mind. And this was, in fact, a very pathetic thing for Donald Trump to do. Now, the thing that really frustrates me about this is Donald Trump, in signing these executive orders, he's contending that he's rolling back Obama's regulations that killed coal. But what he doesn't tell you is that coal has been declining for decades. This isn't a new phenomenon. Coal is outdated. And what Donald Trump could do if he really did, in fact, care about these coal workers who lost their jobs, because those jobs aren't coming back, even if he's going to promise that they will, they're not coming back. But what Donald Trump could do is invest in clean energy and put coal miners that lost their jobs back to work doing that in a new sector of the economy that will explode. But instead, he chose to increase military spending by $50 billion. So rather than investing in green renewable technology, he said, you know what? I think the military 
military needs an even bigger budget, so screw the coal workers. Donald Trump doesn't care about coal workers. What Donald Trump and the Republicans care about is the bottom line of CEOs of companies that pollute the planet. He cares about the profit margins of the fossil fuel industry that profit off of the destruction of our planet. This is everyone's planet. Climate change poses an existential threat to humanity. He's more concerned about the profits of his corporate friends. It, it's sickening to me, and it really is pathetic. So I'm glad that Bernie Sanders called him out. Uh, and, you know, let's just do what we can to run a progressive and kick his ass out of office because this guy uh, is egregious. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.